For decades, the Ghana Hockey Board has lamented the impact of not having an artificial turf for local players and teams to train, especially ahead of regional and international games. Notably, Guyana is always at a disadvantage at these events as the other nations are far advanced in their hockey development and have access to artificial turfs for their domestic training and competitions. For context, Guyana would have to train on grass or the indoor floor at the Clefanison Sports Hall and the National Gymnasium and then make the transition to the artificial turf when attending overseas competitions. The Ghana Hockey Board is looking to bridge that gap, noting that the acquisition of an artificial turf is a big target for the fraternity in 2022. This year, you know, we have a big target of really trying to secure an artificial surface for the game. It is desperately needed. It's been needed for years. And I think we've had some good discussions with the Minister of Sport and the Ministry, and we really want to see if we can do that. So we, we, we encourage the players, we grow the player base, and then if we add that to that the proper facility, I think the game is going to flourish in the coming years. On Sunday last, the hockey board made a belated start to its season with a seven-a-side one-day tournament at a national stadium sponsored by Bounty and Antonio's Grill. The season opener attracted a large turnout of players and spectators, something that has enthused the hockey board about the development trajectory of the sport. Well, I think today it is all about encouraging people to, to, to play the game, to come out and support the game. I'm surprised especially by the amount of young people that have come out and all wanting to play. It has, it has encouraged us as a, as a federation to set up to try to have a junior tournament in the coming weeks because we're seeing such a great interest from young people in particular. And so them coupled with the older, season, more seasoned players today makes for a nice flavour. But we need to build on that and get those young people out and keep them in the game and keep them focused. Going forward, the Ghana Hockey Board is looking to unveil a fairly packed schedule for the remainder of 2022, including the hosting of a few of the major events that have become a staple on the local calendar. Among them is the season-ending Diamond Mineral Water International Indoor Festival. According to Finance, there is already significant interest from overseas competitors for that tournament. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avanash Ramzan.